Welcome back. We have finally made it to Alice Wilkins' room. Let's talk to her. Or let's try to... Mm. Oh, okay. You don't think that offer will be appreciated. Well, could we, uh... Yes, I'm sure jumping into Alice's bed will make a wonderful impression on her. Well, I, I tried, but... Let's talk to her instead, do the gentlemanly thing. Are you doing alright? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. We've got to watch out for each other. There's no telling what could happen in this house. That's part of what makes this case so exciting. I think what you meant, Ben Jordan, was you have to watch out for Alice, because I think... Hmm. Alice, can we talk? Sure, Ben. What's up? Um, tell me more about yourself. I don't really think there's very much interesting information about me, aside from what I already said. I'm from Sacramento, and I major in parapsychology at Harvard. That's about it. I'm sure there's more than just that. Well, I like music. My favorite band is Led Zeppelin. No kidding? I love Zepp. Caught all their albums? Of course. What's your favorite song? Cashmere. What about yours? That's a great one, but I'm more a fan of Dazed and Confused. Oh yeah, that's another favorite of mine. Boy, I'm glad there's someone here in here I have something in common with. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've got to say, I, I prefer uh, Cashmere over Dazed and Confused, too. You have good taste, Alice. But let's talk about the other investigators. What do you think of them? In general, or specifically? Both, I guess. In general, they seem like a good group. But I can't really tell yet, since we've been here for such a short time. Well, uh, what do you think about Simon? I like him. He seems like a really cool guy. And his accent is really cute, too. What is it about American girls and thinking English accents are cute? They are! It's different. I don't know. Right. Oh, are you jealous, Ben? How about Otto? Any thoughts on him? I don't know. He doesn't seem like a very talkative person. He's very polite and nice, but he just doesn't seem to want to get to know anyone. It's a shame, really. Uh, what's your opinion on Madame Tilly? She seems nice, but... but what? Well, don't tell anyone I said this, but she kind of freaks me out a little bit. I mean, I don't really believe in psychics, but the whole concept of being able to foresee people dying and stuff, it's just scary. As long as she doesn't ask to read my palm or anything, there shouldn't be any problems. Are you scared of what your future might hold? That's kind of a personal question, Ben. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. Can we talk about something else, please? Hmm. What do you make of the nightmare Madame Tilly says she had? The parapsychologist's explanation would be that the paranormal energies in this house have manifested themselves in Madame Tilly's subconscious. But I was taking a nap too, and I didn't have any nightmares. Normally, if a ghost decides to make itself present in dreams, it affects everyone in the immediate area. But then, there's lots of factors to consider, like the person's susceptibility to paranormal phenomena and things like that. How about the room she said she was in? Do you think there's a hidden room in this house? I'm not sure. She said there is no furniture, no, no doors or windows. The room on the top floor has a window and a door, so if she did see a room in this house, it must be someplace else. Interesting. That's all for now. Okay. Could we... I think I might have mm, tried this in the last video, but... Oh well. Anyway, now that we're done talking, let's see if we can finally get to the top... the, the room on the top floor. We went through all that trouble just to get this stupid key, and we didn't even have a chance to take a look, so... I don't believe this! What's the matter, Simon? The bloody key has gone missing! What? 
was in the lock when he left this room, and now it's vanished. Maybe someone took it? I was behind you when you left. Everyone else was downstairs when I got there, and I was the first one back here. So it wasn't any of the five of us. Damn it, we were so close, too. Relax, Simon. I'm sure the key is around here somewhere. As far as I know, ghosts can't pick things up. You need to read up a bit more on ghosts, Ben. Anyway, I'm off to have a shower. I'll see you this evening. Well, poo. All that work for nothing. Dang it. Okay. Guess we'll have to put off going into the room until another time. But maybe we could ask, we could go ask Alice and see if maybe she knows something about the key. Um, yeah, locked door. You haven't by any chance been upstairs, have you? No, I haven't left my room except to go out into the hall. Why? There's a door on the top floor re leading into the room where the horror was supposedly seen, but it's locked. Simon and I were trying to get in it, and I found a key, but as we were going to open it, Madame Tilly screamed. And now it seems the key's disappeared. Disappeared? Are you sure someone didn't just take it? Well, that's what we're questioning you for, jeez. Simon was the last one out and the first one into the room, and he says he didn't touch it. That's strange. Maybe whatever haunts his house is some kind of prankster. There's nothing better than a playful ghost. <laughs> That's all for now. Okay. Just then, you hear what sounds like a muffled yell. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like it came from Simon's room. Stay here. I'll go see if he's okay. Hi, Otto. Mr. Jordan, did you hear a yell, too? Yeah, I think it was Simon. I was just about to go check if, and see if he was okay. If you or he need any assistance, please let me know. Okay, thanks, Otto. I'm kind of surprised Otto doesn't go and check up on him with us, but maybe he thinks... Eh. Fearing that Simon may be in trouble, you decide to enter his room without knocking. Oh, scandalous. Oh, oh, dear. Uh-oh, this is not a good sign at all. Can we touch it? We'd really rather not touch the blood. Well, understandable. Oh, Simon. You prepare yourself for the worst and enter Simon's bathroom. Oh. Simon? What's going on in here? Bloody hell, Ben! You scared me half to death! I'm sorry. I would have knocked, but I heard you yelling, and I thought you might be in trouble. It's all right. I had time to get a towel from my dresser so as not to be starkers if anyone came to check out what was going on. So what happened? Strangest thing. I was in the middle of my shower when all of a sudden the water turned to blood. That's about the time I yelled and jumped out. This is starting to get pretty damn creepy. You can say that again. Do you need any help cleaning this stuff up? No thanks. I think I can manage. But do me a favor and round up the others so that we can have that meeting. I'll be there as soon as I wash up. Okay. Oh, Mr. Jordan! Is Mr. Booth alright? Yes, Madam Rosenquist. He's fine. The shower was just acting up on him. Oh dear. This does not bode well for him at all. I told him to watch out. It's lucky for him. He did not perish. He always said that the shower was acting up. With all due respect, madam, I don't think any of us are in any immediate danger right now. Ha! Shows how much you know! Anyway, Simon asked me to tell everyone that tonight's meeting will be starting soon. Ah, yes. I shall go to the travel room now. See you soon, Mr. Jordan. Okay, uh... 
Okay, Simon's washing up and doesn't want to be disturbed. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for the video. Um, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.